start lah. Uh, okay, to find B, to find B, let's take a look. Uh, I have equation of AB already, right? So this is the equation of AB, Y equals to 1 quarter X plus 6. I also have Y equals to X. So what do you think, what will happen when I solve simultaneously? So example, uh, Y equals to 1 quarter plus 6. Then Y equals to X. Now can I pause the video now and you try and solve simultaneously first? Okay, why a8 is actually the answer of coordinate B. The answer is yes. So point B is 8, comma 8. Okay, point B is 8, comma 8. So uh, after this question, I will run a summary with you on how to find a coordinate using different scenario. Okay, so uh, do you need some proof? Uh, let's look at the equation again. Huh? So this is this is B working. Let's look at A. Now, Aretina, uh, they say equation of AB. Can you suggest equation of AB? What is, how does it look like? Boy, stop talking, please. Y equal MX plus C. Very good. Absolutely correct. Whenever I look at this, I only need to find two things. Aretina, what is it? Gradient. Very good. I will find my gradient first. Then I will find the y intercept. Now let's try. Then you have to look back into the question. What did you say? Uh, so I, I look. Uh, AB, is, AB is over here. AB is over here. So I ask myself, do I have point A coordinate? Yes or no? Yes. Do I have point B? No. So stuck. I cannot do. Because I cannot use y2 minus y1, x2 minus x1, right? But Aretina, do you have the green line uh, gradient? And is the green line yellow line related? The gradient? Yes, right? Because it is multiplied become negative 1, right? Yeah. So first you can then find the gradient of AD. Aretina, can I stop here already? Okay, good. Okay, can I go to C now? Now, point B and part B and part C uh, is very crucial in the summary. So I need you to total <coughs> totally understand it. Now, can you underline it for me? The unknown. Uh, no, there's nothing to underline. You don't even have the question. I'm so sorry. Okay, listen first. When you get a paper, watch read the video for this question and then do the necessary things, okay? Now, the length of DC is twice of AB. So, let us look at AB again. Huh? So, AB is longer or DC is longer? DC. DC, yeah. So, you write something like that. The length, can you write on the paper? The length of DC is equal to the length, leave a space in front of the length of AB. I know this is wrong because there must be a times 2. Right? Like length of DC is two times the length of AD, right? So the, the, the sentence is translated to an equation. Uh, who is confused about the part C sentence? Who is confused about this sentence? Everyone okay? Yes. Okay, good. Now, then after that, what do you do? You will put in the formula. So let's revise on the DC formula again. DC formula is, is what? Uh? No, what is the length of the what is the length of the what is the length formula? Uh, square root, square root x two minus x one. X two minus x one. So let's let's look at C. Uh. maybe C. You want to give a coordinate. Let's put there x comma y. Oh, let x let let it be x comma y. So let's try. Uh. so what do you write? Square root, uh, square root two plus x. Oh, x1 minus x2, right? Yeah. No, x2 minus x2. x2 minus x1. So 2 minus, or x minus 2. Which one you prefer? x minus 2 square plus, plus 
y minus negative 2, right? Squared. Equals to, what is the other side? 2 times of square root AB. You have B already. Yes, B is 8, 8, right? B is 8, 8. Oh, Piang, this one very difficult to do. Huh? <clears throat> okay, I will show you this messy method. Then I will summarize with an easier method. Okay, I try. Uh. Can you follow follow through with me? Kunsh is going teaching uh, her. Uh. So I want AB now. AB, can you help me? AB is what? Bracket. Same, right? x2 minus x1. So I'll have 8 minus 0 square plus 8 minus 6 square. Now, uh, I look at the right-hand side. Can you tell me what's the number inside? Like 8 square plus 2 square. So 64 plus 68. You have this like that. I only want a number inside the square root. Okay. Okay. Done. Huh? First part is wrong. Which one? A or B? Yes, yes, yes. Four, right? Look, because this is gradient of AD, what? But they want gradient of AB. Uh, your number is wrong as well. It should be negative four. You try your number again. Stop calculating your mental sums. Press calculator. Hey, uh, sorry everyone. Can you get back to this? Now, uh, I look at this, uh, I have a very ugly scenario here because how many unknowns do I have? Two, Two unknown. Huh? Uh, do you notice I don't want to write a square root? Yeah. How do I get rid of the square root? Uh, I will. Square. square, both sides, which means here we'll have a square. Can you press this in a calculator and tell me the right-hand side equals to what? 4 times 68 is what? Times 68 is what? Times or you can press 2 square root 68, then... Answer square two seven two. Yeah, it's a it's a whole number. It's a whole number. But you look at this. Am I able to solve part C? No, no uh, because one equation I have two unknown. I have both x and both y unknown. Then I need to form another equation. So what is another equation? The gradient. So use the gradient of CD. Because I know the gradient of CD is equal to the gradient of AB. What is the reason? Huh? They are parallel. Right? So uh, I, I only need a diagram. So I zoom in a bit so it's easier for you to see. CD itself will be Y plus 2 over X minus 2. Gradient of AB earlier on we found is one quarter. Okay. Now I seriously don't want you to do this. So I will write a summary. I will write here. Soft simultaneous tenuous to find CD. Okay. Can I draw a line and then tell you the alternative method? I believe all of you will love the alternative method. <clears throat> one again. This one. This is the number. This is the length. No, the whole thing is not equal to the gradient. The whole thing is just one equation. I have some x square. I have some y square is equal to a number. I have some x y is equal to a number. I need to make x a subject of the formula. Put it inside and solve for x or y. 
Okay, I'll show you the other method. Uh. The other method is using a uh, shorter and no 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 simultaneous equation involved. But why am I showing you this? Because later in the summary, I will tell you in order to find a coordinate, there is many ways. I'm going to list down all the ways and then you're going to choose the shorter, the preferred way to do. Because not everyone will prefer the alternative method. So ready, uh, can you copy down the alternative method as well? So let me draw a line and write C alternate. Now, in C alternate, I need you to understand the theory first. So can I zoom in and write, write down the, the, the theory first? Huh? Now, uh, can you help me draw a line called AB? Uh, sorry, can I use different alphabets so you're not confused? Can I use M and N? M and N. Now, and I tell you M and N is, is parallel to, can I have two different alphabets? PQ. Can you write down PQ? Okay, parallel, uh, parallel. And then, so two information. Number one, number one, MN is parallel to PQ. Number two, PQ length, let, let, let's give it some big numbers, is three times <coughs> of MN length. Ready, ready? Ready, ah? Uh? <coughs> so let's start. Uh, let's give some coordinate. Let's say this coordinate is 1, 1. This coordinate is 2, two. One. Uh, two 5. Example, 2, 5. Now, what it means uh, is this. Uh, it must meet these two conditions, then I can use the alternative method. So, first condition, they are parallel. Second condition, uh, the length is 3 times. So, let me ask you a question. If I were to able to draw a triangle here, are you able to tell me horizontally what is the length? What, how many units? Wrong? Wrong? A uh, 4 is correct. One is correct, but which one is which? Bottom is one. How, how do I get one? This is one, this is two, right? So the X part is two and one, two and one. So horizontally is one. But the height, this is five, this is one. So vertically is four. So which means the, the triangle here is one unit to the right, four units up. Shh. Now, huh? Don't get it. Don't get it. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, look, look at the one here. Huh? This is the x one, right? Which means. <coughs> okay. Can I draw the axis for you to see? Maybe the axis will help you to do it. What happened? Vaish, Vaish. Uh, can, can. Vaish, come here. Okay, all, all look here, all look here. If if those cannot want, uh, can you look at this one, this part here? Now, I, I'm, I'm drawing MN. I'm drawing MN with with inside the axis so this is the y axis this is the x axis huh? this is the y this is the x now what am i trying to tell you here is look at m m coordinate is one one that means uh, from origin to the m unit uh, is one unit do you follow then n is two five that means from origin to the n unit uh, the x part is two unit so I'm asking you, what is the length of the triangle? One. This is one. Do you follow? This is the one here. Then I ask you again, how do you get this vertical unit? Draw horizontally, this is five unit. Draw horizontally, this is one unit. So what's the height of it? Four. So now you understand the one and four. 
this is the four, this is the one. Do you understand now? Yeah, that's, that's right. Okay, now, uh, the second part will give you the clue. I want to find three times. That means how many triangle can I draw? Three. That means I'm telling you, I'm telling you I can draw three triangle. One and four. One and four. One and four. One and four. Now, if I say this is 10, 11, example, uh, example, uh, 10, 11, how many horizontal you need do I need move in total? Three, right? Do you understand how I get three? <coughs> Do you understand? Because I start from 10, total horizontal unit is 3 units. How about total vertical units? 4, 4, 4. How many? 12. So the answer will be 11 plus 12. So the answer will be 14, 23. 13, sorry. Because I say P starts from 10, 11. Okay. Can you digest this? Then I will, I will do another, first time already. I will do, I will do another video to solve C and D. Then I will talk to her about A. And I'll give you today's homework. 